so if we get some of this stuff into it to address this in the code. So this is where I would put you in touch with Portland, Oregon, because I just was there last month in Portland, Oregon. And guess what they're doing? They're changing their state code with the same issue. So this is how it works. I put you in touch with Stu White and A.J. Jackson out there, and they say, what barriers are you running across? And you say, and how far have you gotten? We're done with the whole write-up that we've been studying for five years of trial and error crap, and, you know, and Cisco's been here, and he helped us, and... You're done. And you say, can I get a copy? You know what they say? Sure. And all of a sudden, and it's all done, right? Like tested and thought and yeah. There, you're like, okay. Thanks. And then you walk into a meeting. Uh, I uh, work very hard on this. And, uh, <laughs> sleepless nights. We need to implement this. Oh, where's this from? Well, it's already in the country. It's, it's as a matter of fact, uh, the Portland, they adopted this into their code. And so, you know, the greatest thing I like about it that I got as a class from the state fire marshal was in my class. He told Cisco, it's not an administrative rule change because it's an uphill battle. It's not an ordinance because it's an uphill battle. It's specific to your own city and everybody else around you. not doing it. It's a kind of cost of problem. It's called the Department of Procedures and Guidelines. It's nothing but something that the industry has provided that says, here's a generic way to do it. And you agree to it. And in any way, does it point to anyone else? Here's more or less how inspections should be done. This is more or less how repairs should be done. This is more or less how maintenance should be done. It's generic enough that it doesn't violate any code. Does it tell you what code to use? No. Does it tell you what camera to use? No. It's, it's generic in nature because at the end of all this, this says, and it says here, uh, specific, um, and you'll like this here, and I'll, I'll briefly read it to you here, and you'll like it. By the way, I sent this out to Portland, and he, he corrected me on some of my misspellings here, but he, uh, again, this was still in the draft form. In layman's terms, the city official look, is looking for a qualified inspector to do critical inspection, and uh, in parentheses, inspection criteria submitted prior, meaning so he has to send you his inspection criteria, that verifies and certifies that all connections are free of internal rust or rot, as well as original hardware, square or rivet bolts are reinforced and or replaced in lieu of a live load test. All supports through bolts or or cemented into the wall must be verified and certified in lieu of a live load test. Uh, a, a fire escape confidence test must be submitted if fire escape passed, and I gotta put the word tag in here. The reports with photos identifying violations for repairs must, be, must include repair criteria submitted to the official for repair uh, for repair vendor to use as guidelines during engineer oversight of, permi of permitted repairs. A fire escape confidence test is then submitted. And I need to put in here again, a fire escape confidence test and tags are then submitted. Boom. Did I say anything in there that was no, offensive? It's good. it's good because at the Cliffs Inn, for example, he kept asking me, well, what is it that you want to know? And I said, I don't really know what I want to know. He just says that I'm supposed to be confident that it works, and I'm not an expert. So, right. Now I can say, here's what I need to know. And this, is this generalized enough? Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So now this, you can fax out. So every time you get an engineer call, you can have this set up in such a way that not only you send this out, but listen, this is what I do. Well, are you the repair or the inspector? I'm the inspector. Great, let me send you this. That way you know what I expect from you and your repair guy. Because mm -hmm. the repair guy says right there, in layman's terms, the city official is looking for a qualified repair vendor to do all work under repair permit with engineer oversight of repair criteria submitted for approval to the official. All connections must be free of rust, spot prime, you know, blah, 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 keeps going down. All square or rivet bolts must be certified, reinforced or replaced due to age in lieu of live test, live load test. So I'm already hitting that thing, so if you got an aged fire escape. And you have an option. Then you have an option. Reinforce these things, I'll replace them, whatever's cheaper, or give me a load test, because now, you're playing with me. I, I got an aged fire escape here, and the only true test is a low test or some other form. And come speak with me, because I need, I need you to do a vendor oversight. Then this one is going to be talking about just that. It's going to be talking about the EPA, the paint, the lead, the children, the thing, and that. And so if you can work with me, I'll get this back to you. Uh, this, uh, this class is going to be on, uh, on the internet within seven to ten days. So some of the guys that did make the class, every one of them is going to get this. And then you and I slowly, one fire escape at a time, will investigate and use that as a case study. So as we keep videotaping, every time you and I meet, we'll document that and put that into a, into a, into a video class mm -hmm. that you now send to every one of these guys that says, 
what you did, what needed to be done. Because I've had the, I've had the pleasure, and you'll see that on, on the Farscape Inspector Training, with me with commissions walking alleyways. Me with state building inspectors walking alleyways. You don't have to walk out. If you, if you can watch video and then gain knowledge, then I really don't need to drag you out in the rain today, which is probably what it is. No, it was great. So any other questions or no? I'm good. I think it's great. It's great to uh, have everybody kind of getting an idea as to what they should be looking for and even how the process seems to work. I think like looking at the fire schemes that we have, it hasn't been working. Yeah. You know, you can drive by and see I'll start hounding you as of next that's, week that's because okay. that's how I do it. If you get me started, it's the, the toughest part is, get, is stopping me. So, uh, and Rhode Island is one of our sister states, and I just, I see an opportunity because we're out of Boston, and uh, you know we'd like to uh, you know to work with anybody and everybody. <laughs> state of Rhode Island, that's only 365 fire escapes. Right. What about the other 10,000 fire escapes spread throughout? Who else is going to do those? So if you don't have a standard for all your your engineers coming in, scooping up this new found opportunity, and all these repair vendors that are eyeing workers and welding companies, they all need work. They're all out there waiting to go work on these things. The problem is, is what's the standard? Well, that's what we just talked about today. Yeah, well, that's, that's going to be fantastic. Now it's time as they say that.